Hello viewers, I welcome you all from our Charity of Tech channel. In our previous video, we saw about uh, one to n relationship and n to one relationship, in which uh, we took an example of the company. There are multiple companies, and in each company, there uh, are particular employees. It means that every company is uh, can have one to n number of relation with the employees. And same for if we can if we compare employees with company they can have n number of employees in one company so this was an example of one to n and n to one relationship now we are going to see the skills for example if there are multiple skills uh, that is uh, skill 1 skill 2 skill 3 skill 4 there are four types of skills that are required for an employee uh, it is not uh, mandatory that every employee has only one skill there may be some employees who can have uh, skill 1 as well as skill 2. For example, one employee can have a degree of Bachelor of Engineering as well as MBA. Uh, similarly, there is an employee who has uh, the skills of HR as well as of uh, some other department. So, uh, in this way, you can say that uh, there may be some different type of uh, skills. There can have n number of skills uh, for n number of employees. So in that in this way uh, you can say that uh, if we plot a comparison between these two entities that is uh, skill and employees here you can see that uh, all the all the uh, employees can n number of employees can have n number of skills and vice versa okay so we will uh, compare it we will check it from a practical demonstration right now uh, if we go here and see that uh, in our previous video we created two uh, we created two uh, companies uh, in company a there were three employers and similarly in company b there were three employers okay similarly if we go into any employer we can have we can check that which employee is the member of which company now uh, we are going to uh, work with employees and uh, skill sets okay so what we are going to do i am going to create a new entity in customizations customize the system here i am going to click uh, and uh, add a new entity right now and i will uh, name it as skill sets the plural name of this is skill sets and uh, it is about uh, it will be in custom module area and i will click on save and close now i have uh, an entity that is skill sets here this one is the entity that is skill sets and now uh, with this entity i am going to map a relationship with the employees okay for end to end relationship you can uh, create a end to end relationship in any of this entity but in uh, my previous video you remember that for creating one to n and end to one you must be cautious that in which which entity will be the parent entity so uh, for parent entity uh, is always the one that has some relation with the child entity but in end to end relationship it's not necessary so in end to end relationship i am going to add a new man, a man to many relationship so the primary set will be skill set and uh, the secondary will be the employee and i am going to click on save and close as soon as I created a new end-to-end -end relationship, you will notice that the same will be automatically created in employees end-to-end -end relationship as well. Here I can show you, yes, this is the one. So if I click on it, here you can see that it is the entity name is skill set and entity name is employee. Current entity is employee and the entity on which it is mapped is skill set. Okay now in employee that is the child entity in this case we are going into the main form and here i am going to add one more tab so
sorry and we will name it as <coughs> skill set skill set I will click OK and skill set in the skill sets we are going to add a subgrid and uh, we will name it as skills we can name it as per our naming convention professional skills and uh, the entity will be skill sets and only related records will be shown here i will click ok <coughs> and after that we will save it and publish it i will close it and publish all customizations if we go here And refresh the page here in uh, custom module I have employees and skill sets I will go into skill sets and will add some new records So these are some uh, skill sets I have just created <coughs> and now I want to affiliate them with the uh, uh, employees. So here I am going to add some skill sets to this employer A1. For example, he is a MBA in supply chain. He is also uh, a PhD. Okay. Similarly for employer A2, I add some skill sets for example he's only MBA finance okay for employer a3 I add the record of uh, let's say he has done human resource management as well as he is also a MBA supply chain okay so it means that there can be n number of employees who can have MBA supply chain similarly MBA sub multiple skill sets that is n number of skill sets can be related to the multiple employees <coughs> so in this way we are mapping uh, our end-to-end -end relationship he has done MBA finance he has also done MBS supply chain. This is just for uh, uh, idea. It, the examples may vary as per case. This person is HRM and has also done PhD. Okay. So he has two skill sets employer B2 and the last of all is employer B3. He has done HR and uh, that's all. So now these employees have multiple skill sets. Now if I go into the skill sets. This is a skill set and this can be related to multiple employees that is employer a3 has this one and uh, now in going for skill sets if i go here and go into skill sets entities forms These are the sets of if I name it as qualified employees. Okay, and here I'm going to add a subgrade. The subgrade will be employees. Okay, and it will take the values from employees, and only related records will be covered. After that, I am going to save it and publish it. On refreshing the page, now uh, I have added a subgrade because for showing multiple fields, you have to add the subgrade. Uh, I have added a subgrade to this form. This shows that. Uh, if I want to check 
who is who has done MBA finance I will just click it and it will show me that the uh, these two employers are the one who are qualified uh, with this skill set if I click on this one it will show me that this one is MBA finance similarly if I go into employees module and click on this one this shows that this employer that is employer a3 is qualified with two types of skill sets so in this way multiple employees can have multiple skill sets similarly if uh, HRM uh, is the skill set it means that these two three employees are linked with these uh, skill sets so in this way you can uh, assign end-to-end uh, -end relationship with between entities records uh, which is the third type of relationship guys if you have any question regarding this video please leave it in the comment box and thank you very much for viewing these videos and uh, who are new viewers i request you to subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all